Get on a rock. When you get to that rock, duck. Okay. Watch where you put your feet, because there are 300 stairs along the tour route. And hang on to the handrail. That takes care of uh, our safety. The other thing we need to think about is the safety of the kid. On busy days in the summer, we take a thousand people a day through here. Imagine what your house would look like if you had a thousand people walking through, touching everything. We have that many every day in the summer. So because of the oil on our hand and the real delicate formations right next to the trail, remember not to touch the walls, okay? And not to lean up against the rocks and not to step on the rocks. Make sure you stay right on the paved trail. If you see somebody that forgot that, go ahead and remind them. Just tell them, I remember the ranger said not to touch the rocks. Sometimes I hear the kids behind me and they're saying, Dad, the ranger said not to touch the rocks, okay? Also to help us protect the cave, we don't allow any tobacco products to be consumed in the cave and no eating or drinking. That includes chewing gum and candy. Some of you are gonna have to make a deposit in one of the trash cans before we get into the cave, okay? Uh, it's a very different kind of cave. A lot of caves have the stalactites and stalagmites. But we're gonna be looking for the main decoration. It's called boxwood, boxwood. And most caves in the world don't have any box work in them at all. So we're gonna look for that. We're gonna look for the white on the walls. It looks like people threw little snowballs all over the walls and ceilings of the cave. And that's called cave popcorn. And of course, we're gonna be looking down those little holes off to the side, okay? And the first hole I'd like to show you is the natural entrance to Wind Cave, where the first people went in to the underground wilderness that's down below. So get a picture in your head of what the entrance to the sixth longest cave in the world should look like, and we'll go see if it does. Let's see if I can show you what ha what's happening here today. Oh, look at that. It's coming out. It's blowing out. Now, that's a barometric wind that's caused by the weather. Some days when there's a high pressure system coming into the area, it forces air into the cave. So some days the wind's blowing in, and on days like this, there's a low pressure system coming in, the wind's blowing back out again. In and out, the same hole, depending on the barometric pressure. It's important because it gave the cave its name, that's how it got the name Wind Cave, and it's important because the cave explorers use that wind to help them find new passageway. Now they're crawling along, and they see a hole off to the side. If there's a breeze blowing out of that hole, that's the one they want to go check out next. So the, cave, the wind helps them find new cave. There's about three rooms that we're going to stop in along the tour route. And in those places, I'd like for you to ask any questions that you think of, okay? So remember your questions till we get to the stops. Ask me there, because then I can answer them for everybody in the group. Anybody have any questions right now? Okay. Heliological well, Society to help us out on a, on a volunteer basis. Uh, go ahead and take whatever pictures you want to take in this room, and then I would like for you to turn your cameras off. Even those little glowing lights. Just while we're in this room. Once we start walking again, as long as you stay up with the group, you can turn your cameras back on. Okay, but well, go ahead and get your pictures. Mm -hmm. Guys, the rock that's all around us, that rock, it's limestone. That's what kind of rock it is. The limestone, the, li the limestone was laid down at the bottom of an ocean. There used to be an ocean here. The shell creatures died. And those shells got crushed and compressed and cemented together. And there they are, limestone. And then a long time ago, when the earth shifted around a little bit, the limestone cracked and water seeped into those cracks and it was the dissolving action of acidic water in the cracks that made Wind Cave. Wind Cave was made by water. We're walking through one of those cracks right now that was made larger when the water was sitting in here, slowly dissolving the limestone. The box work that we can see such good examples of up here is a Crack filling. 
there were tiny little cracks and they got filled in with that material right there and right there and right there. And then what happened to the limestone that used to be up in there? It got washed away, got dissolved away by the acidic water. So what that means is this is not forming anymore. It's not like a cave with a lot of water dripping in, making stalactites and stuff. This process is finished. Another reason we have to remember not to touch anything, because we could break it off. It, it is not forming. It couldn't regrow. So that's done. But the cave popcorn is still forming. Uh -huh. This process is still going on. There's water oozing out to the tiny little pores in the rock itself. That water has minerals dissolved in it, and there they are, being deposited in the form of the cave popcorn. So that's still going on. Really wet caves with a lot of water dripping in them might have the stalactites and stalagmites. Relatively dry caves, like wind caves, are way more likely to have the cave popcorn. Uh -huh. <coughs> Any other questions? How, how old is this? I mean, um, this formation, this, not the cave, Okay, the rock the itself. Yeah. The geologists who have studied this, trying to compare uh, with each other the different layers of fossils and things like that, they would tell you that this limestone was laid down about 350 million years ago. I'd like to show you just for a few seconds. <laughs> But all the rest of the cave, whatever you'd like. <laughs> and I need, <laughs> and I, need to, I need you to turn the uh, turn your cameras off. All those little. It's all funny games to a rock ball. Yeah. See, that's pretty. Just staring at me, she is. Oh, because I'm scared of heights. All lots of fun until someone gets hurt. Yeah. All there is. All right. <laughs> This rock probably right here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Wedged in there. Between here and the next room, we're going to stop then. I need you to stay within sight of the people in front of you, okay? Stay close. There's a ranger who used to work here. When he was in this room, he had 40 people. We got to the next room, he had 17. <laughs> There's a paved intersection up ahead. Make sure you stay close, okay? Uh, before we go see if the sun's still shining. This was closed all winter and this is the first weekend? No, open? no it's been open all winter. Okay. It's been open all winter. We did change the schedule today. We've got four tours a day scheduled instead of the three that we have in the winter. Any other questions anybody thought of? Yeah? How long has the cave existed? How long has the cave existed? The geologists actually believe that parts of Wind Cave, remember I said that the limestone layer was laid down 350 million years ago? Probably within 20 or 30 million years of that, some of that limestone started to get dissolved away. So this, you know what that means? Wind Cave also is one of the oldest caves in the world. Um, I have a question too. Has anyone seen like, like crystal or like diamond in here? No diamonds. No diamonds. The rock is too soft, but there are crystals. Actually, the popcorn, the boxwork, and the frostwork are crystals. They're just tiny, small crystals.